Keeper Commander allows you to perform administrative and vault functions from a command line environment on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Log into your vault by typing login and entering your username and password when prompted. Keeper Commander has a variety of commands which allow you to work with the records in your vault. Once logged into Commander, typing help or the question mark symbol will present you with a list of possible commands. You can also refer to the full list of commands in our user guide. This video will introduce you to the most common commands to work with records within your vault. Each command supports additional parameters and options. To get help on a particular command, run help space command or command dash h. Commander uses well-known commands to navigate your keeper vault files and directories. List or L lists all records in your vault. Search or S searches your vault. LS lists all folder contents. You can enter an optional argument to have it display just folders or records and specify the level of detail you would like to see. Tree will display the entire vault structure as a tree. You can also enter the name of a folder to see the structure of that specific folder. CD can be used to change the current folder and navigate to different folders in your vault. Keeper specific commands will allow you to work with and display information about your account and records in your vault. You can use get or g to retrieve and display a keeper record, folder, or team in printable or JSON format via a UID you provide. You can choose to specify what format you would like, detail, JSON, or password, and also whether you would like to work with legacy records only. Use clipboard-copy to copy the specified keeper record password field to the clipboard. Use record-history, or RH, to show the history of a record's modifications. You can enter the optional arguments, which will let you filter by record history type or only show the details for a specific revision. TOTP displays the two-factor code for a given record, or shows a list of records with two-factor codes if no record is specified. The command file-report shows a report of all the files that you have access to in the vault. This is useful if you want to know which records are taking up the most space. Use list-sf or lsf to show details about all shared folders in the vault. Good to quickly know what in your vault is shared. If you need a more detailed sharing report, the share-report command with the dash o and dash v switches provides you with a detailed report of what records are in your vault, who they are shared with, and what permissions everyone has. Use add or a to add a record. You can specify the login, password, URL, notes, custom fields, folder, title, as well as attach a file or generate a random password. The edit command will edit an existing record and works the same way as the add command. Simply enter a new value for the field or fields you would like to edit. You can use rm to remove a record. You can also enter an optional argument to purge the record from all folders and the trash. Use append-notes, or an, to quickly append notes to a record. Use mkdir to create a folder or shared folder. You can choose to specify permissions for the folder with optional arguments. rmdir will remove a folder or shared folders and its contents. Use mv to move a record or folder to another folder. You will need to enter the source path to the record or folder you would like to move and the name or UID of the destination folder. Use ln to create a link between records or folders by entering the source path of UIDs of the items you would like to link. Use find-duplicate to locate duplicate records in the vault based on specific attributes and fields. You can choose to match duplicates by title, login, password, URL, or all fields. In addition to vault commands, if you have admin rights, you can also run some admin-only commands as though you were logged into the admin console. Use create-user to send an invitation to a given email address to join Keeper. Use list-team or LT to list all teams that you have access to. The enterprise command allows you to administer Keeper via the command line or via script if needed. In addition to admin commands, there are also some MSP-specific commands if you have an MSP license. To learn more about Keeper Commander, please consult our user guide or contact support.